Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Theory Fundamentals episode 11 Behavioral Game Theory Imagine you're on a game show with a friend You can both easily win $10,000 But there's a twist There's a button If the button is left untouched within 10 minutes Each of you will win $10,000 But if any of you push the button first they will get $20,000 while the other will get nothing. So, what would you do? So, did you decide to push the button? What were your considerations? Standard game theory assumes that people are completely rational players, solely focused on maximizing their own benefit, and have complete information to do so. But it is not true. Behavioral game theory, on the other hand, takes a more realistic approach. It acknowledges that people have limited information processing capabilities, can make emotional or biased choices and may be influenced by social norms, fairness, considerations, and even quirks in our thinking. Here are some of those factors. Bounded rationality. Unlike perfect robots, humans have limitations. We can't process all the information and make flawlessly logical decisions every time. This is called bounded rationality. Biases. Our brains also use mental shortcuts, called heuristics, which can sometimes lead to biases. For example, the anchoring bias makes us rely too heavily on the first piece of information we get. You see a jacket with an original price tag of $200. Now, it's marked down to $100. The initial high price anchors your perception of value, making the sale price seem like a great deal, even if $100 might still be high for that particular jacket. Some cost fallacy. It's the tendency to continue an endeavor simply because we have already invested time, money, or effort into it, even if it's no longer the best option. Let's say you're halfway through a movie you really dislike, but you convince yourself to finish it because you have already paid for it and also have invested time watching that far. Framing effects highlights how the way information is presented can influence our choices, even if it's the underlying facts remain the same. So, do you see the glass half full or half empty? Social norms and fairness. Let's imagine that you and a friend are playing the ultimatum game. You get $100 to split, however you like. But there's the catch. Your friend can either accept your offer or reject it. And then nobody gets anything. So decide how would you give him. Classic game theory might tell you that no matter how much you give him, they will accept since something is still better than nothing for them, right? But in the experiments, people often reject unfair offers, even if it means losing out to punish selfish behavior. So the next time you're in a strategic situation, remember behavioral game theory. Consider how emotions, biases, and social norms might influence your choices and the choices of others. Try applying those concepts in your daily life and share your experiences with others in the comment below. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode where we'll explore the fascinating topics of evolutionary game theory. Till then!